What's going on, guys? Um, I promised the dude with a milkman recipe, but um, I'm missing some of the ingredients. So we'll do that in the next video. Got vape mail coming tomorrow, so we're going to have a couple of vape mail videos. Uh, we're going to do a paradise punch. So it calls for, um, I believe it is, flavor apprentice, um, peach juicy, flavor apprentice ripe strawberry, capella sweet strawberry, capella sweet mango. Now, if you want to have it as like a summer vape, you can add some coolada in it, or you can actually um, I'm thinking about you know doing some cranberry in it, maybe trying to twist it up a little bit. But this is basically a shaken vape, or you can give it 24 hours steep. It really don't need no more than that, really. So I think I'm not going to use my lighting anymore. Like I said, my camera's on the way. My room light sucks, and I'm doing all this off my cell phone, so the camera kind of reflects off the scale, and it just messes everything up. So I'm going to stop using the light, or either use the front camera. But, um, that's the juice. Now you can see how cloudy it is. Mix it up, man. It's a shaking vape. It's almost ready to go. But, let me give it about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to give it a vape. But it smells really good. And it's basically that sweet mango. Well, thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Um, also, check out DIY Vapor. Chris is a real good mixologist. I actually, I'm a part of that group. They also got a Facebook um, group also. Does good mixes. Um, we can we can basically all learn from each other, so go check that out. So you all would not believe what I just did. I recorded the whole thing, mixed the whole damn thing, but I lost the whole mix. But I got the whole part of me talking in the beginning and the end, so I mixed everything and didn't get the mix. As you can see, but basically, we're going to go by the same recipe, the Paradise Bunch. We can add 0.5% of cactus for a fruit bowl or cool out of for a summer vape. But um, I'm going to add the cream berry in this one at 3%. So, if you want the original, cut the cream berry out. Don't think I'm saying cranberry, it's cream berry. Alright, so we're going to go down to the scales. Gonna hit it. I'm gonna have to do two flavors out of syringe because I got a four ounce bottle and a 30 milliliter freaking Wizard Lab fucking sweet mango. So, as you can see, I have to do the damn syringe. I hate Wizard Lab. So, we're gonna go on down now. Alright, guys. So, I'm waiting for Chris's. I told you so. I just went and opened my, um, one milligram, 100 milligram per milliliter nicotine by hand with no gloves. Got it on me. Had to wash it off real quick. So, yeah, that's not good. I already added my nicotine now because I don't like doing that on camera. But it's three milligrams. So, 10 milliliter bottle comes out to 0.3 milliliter. Okay, so our first flavor is going to be Cat Juicy Peach at five percent that's gonna come out to five L as I tried to tell you all before one drop is about three points As you just seen. Next is ripe strawberry at 0.1 milliliter because I got the four ounce bottle. So I'm 
Next will be Sweet Mango at 0.4. As I showed you before, the freaking 30 mil wizard light up bottle. Gotta hate them. Next is Sweet Strawberry. Same, 0.4. I had a top on that one, but it's a Wizard Lab bottle. And it's a plastic one, and they just switched the plastic, and it's so hard. The plastic is so damn hard that you can barely squeeze anything out of it. But uh, that's basically the recipe for the Paradise Punch that I was supposed to record just a second ago. And I lost the footage. And if you're using a syringe, just remember. Rinse out your syringe with water. Okay, we're going to do, I'm going to just twist up this recipe a little bit. And this is a shake and bake. You can let it last for um, 24 hours if you want to let it steep. But I'm going to do 3% of creamberry. Flavor West. From Flavor Palace. Fla no, Flavor Place. Thank you, Nick, for the recommendation. It's the only place I get my liquids now. You can do this dropper style. Alright, we're going to mix it up with the VGN, and we're going to mix it up with the Nord Pro. The problem that I have with this VG put mixing up these little bottles, 30 mils too, never the hundreds, 120s. So I put too much VG in it, okay? And by the time I mix up with the Nord Pro, I lose a good milliliter from the top. when it gets caught like that on the top of the bottles it's horrible believe it or not though I have no spillage on the scale and it looks like it's spilling out see as you can see that's going to overflow. See what I'm talking about? Always overdo it. Alright, let's mix it up. I'll see you up top. Alright, so I have the two mixes now. <clears throat> I had time to um, let the first one cool down after the Norbro, so I went ahead and laced up my Lotus. It's been a long time since I used this. Put my free shell on top of it. Fresh coils, clappings, of course. Um, oh, RX23 has the juggernauts. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a wait, uh, vape and see how it tastes and see what's going on with it. So. It's good. It's real good. Um, might need a little bit longer. I'd say um, maybe 24 hours, especially that one with the creamberry because it has cream in it, so it's going to take probably a little bit longer. But, um, so y'all always get yelling about your batteries and stuff. You know, ban them. So I'm be getting yelled at by a couple of people here. This one's my worst battery. I had it in my mech mod the other day. It's positive it didn't blow up on me. It's the top. Look at all that metal showing. Got electrical tape on it, of course. But the bottom's okay. So I'm going to rewrap that. And then my E Fast, of course. My E Fast. 
got scotch tape holding up that part on the top at the bottom. Sucks. But I go to imrbatteries.com. They're pretty good. I got these pair when, say, about over a year ago. These. They said they came basically saying they're not recommended for vapes. All battery places have to say that. But been using them year long in a vape. Still like they're brand new. I miss I basically run them out of my tooth ray. But I've been getting into my neck mods lately, you know. The, Nem the, ne the Nemesis clone. I got the original down there. I don't use it because it's expensive. But this one hits just as hard. Fun lies on top. Um, I also have Manhattan. Magnetic bottom, of course. I love that. And. I'll show you all my little RDA stamps. 